Yes, yes. One final question, Carl, and the beautiful lounge suite will be yours. Are you going to have a go? You're a brave man. Carl Marx, your final question, who won the cup final in 1949? Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Um, as I was talking about earlier, uh, it seems to be coming to pass that we're seeing a move away from Iran and a focus on Pakistan as Pakistan moves troops to the border with India. And this fits in with um, Obama and uh, Brzezinski's strategy of trying to uh, contain the Soviet, your former Soviet Union, what is now Russia, and um, ultimately also to have an effect on Chinese domination in, uh, in the Southeast Asia region. And uh, this is exactly um, as has been predicted by some and I adhere to this viewpoint myself and I fear that this is exactly where the next flashpoint is going to happen so keep your eyes on Pakistan and India this is where the focus is going to come in the so-called war on terror and in Obama's first times in office after he is inaugurated I predict that there is going to be some form of major action in Pakistan and or India which is going to draw us in to some even greater travesty that has been brought upon this country already in this so-called fucking war on terrorism. Um, so um, as I said also there is this uh, effort to, to draw the eyes away from Israel as I have talked about before there is no defense for Israeli action I have had some comments who have people have posted about uh, the terrorist actions taken against Israel by the Palestinians and I in no way endorse any terrorist actions taken by anybody I'm not on anybody's side in this because any time there is war, suffering, death, murder, and fucking slaughter like is going on in Gaza and in Israel, there is no defensible position. Whenever you are engaged in this type of activity, you are inherently evil and wrong, period. Okay? So, I do not condone what is going on with the fucking Palestinians if they're firing rockets into Israel and innocent people who are getting killed I do not condone that fucking activity but at the same time I'm sick and tired of Israel getting a pass in the fucking news it's always the rockets coming from, Pal from the Palestinians it's always Gaza firing rockets or throwing bottles or starting some something against Israel when Israel is blockading Gaza and now it appears as though they are poised to go in there for a protracted war to try and destroy the Palestinians and to try and destroy Hamas. If they were trying to fight against so-called terrorism, they wouldn't be trying to destroy an entire fucking people like they are. So you need to ask yourself this question. What is their goal? If they were really trying to fight Hamas and the so-called terrorists who are firing rockets at them, why are they blockading an entire people? And why are they now poised to go in there and wage an even more bloody fucking war? What is their real agenda? The economy continues to be in fucking shambles as this Christmas season has proven. Uh, retailers report dismal sales, which one should not be surprised about, as nobody has any fucking money to spend on anything. So, you want to talk about where the problem lies, I'm going to tell you once again where the fucking problem lies, okay? You have bailouts for bankers, you have bailouts for the auto industry, you have bailouts for just about every fucking buddy. Even, even the mad off scammers, the 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 people who were uh, fooled by Madoff's scheme and his Ponzi scheme, they want a bailout. 
Where's the bailout for the people in this fucking country? Where's the bailout for the families, for the individuals who can't afford to pay their mortgages, who can't afford to pay their car payments, who are losing their jobs left and right? Where is our fucking bailout? This is the problem in this country. There is no focus where it needs to be, and that is on the individual and the family. If you want to do something great and wonderful, why don't you focus on what's happening here in this country and say, if there is one fucking person here in this country who is suffering for lack of some basic human fucking necessity, that person should be helped before you do anything for some billionaire banker or billionaire car companies or billionaires or millionaires who lost money on a fucking scam that they should have known better. That's what Christmas spirit is all about and that's where the focus should be. But that is the last fucking place it's going to be put as more of this bailout bullshit happens. And finally, um, the terrible uh, Santa killings, where you have a three-named assassin. Well, just do a Google search on three-named killers, and you'll see the uh, rather bizarre story surrounding these individuals with Bruce Jeffrey Pardo, uh, dressed as Santa, who um, killed at least eight people and then committed suicide because of a so-called family problem um, and uh, a so-called hidden life with a son that his wife did not know about. Um, uh, this, uh, particularly, this particular story strikes me as um, ultimately very tragic and sad at, at one time, but in another sense to be completely indicative of the type of societal, psychopathic meme that is going through this country right now. That it's indicative of exactly where this country is heading with a psychopathic undercurrent. And for it to happen during the Christmas season and for this guy to be dressed as Santa Claus, not bringing gifts and joy like he should be, but bringing fucking death and destruction in his wake. This is more like what this country is moving towards in the future. And take it as a psychopomp, if you will, a foretelling or a foreshadowing of what is more to come in this country. Sad, horrible, destructive. And that is where we're heading. Thank you. Good night.